We're at Culver Elementary School with Ulrich to do a training demo, talk about positive reinforcement dog body language. Let's see how this Bybrook dog does surrounded by young children. I started off making my camera person think I was having a seizure, but it was just my way of asking her to turn the camera, lol. Whenever we are in public spaces, we have the dog in a contact heel. This means he heals with me not by looking at me, but by staying in contact with my leg. While healing, he can't interact with other people, stop and sniff, or use the bathroom. He knows we are now in work mode, which can last for up to an hour. Note we don't need an e-collar or prong collar when doing demos. Watch his focus, control, and drive in a place he's never been and how the slick floor doesn't bother him. It's because he's poop pop. Good morning. Good morning. So today we have Ulrich with us, but his nickname is the Poop Pup, and I'll probably be referring to him as the Poop Pup more often. Um, I wanted to show you guys kind of some of the things that he can do. He's such an amazing boy, and talk about how we do them and how to treat a dog. Ass. All these words that I'm giving him are just made up words or in a foreign language only because it's fun. And the way we do all of this is we use his kibble. We have food and he loves to eat and it helps us to build a relationship by using his meal time, his food in our training. Wherever his head goes, his body will follow. So if I want him to go into a down, a sit, a heel, a circle, it all is accomplished with the luring. And this way he works because he wants to, because he's having fun. We want the dog to feel like they have something in it for them. Person goes to work, they want their job to be fun, but they also want to get paid. And the same thing is for the dog. But the thing that he loves the absolute most, and you can see it in his eyes, is his ball. When I drop the ball, I cease to exist because that is what he's working for. Kuche! See how he's staring at his ball? Now we're gonna have him bark at his ball. Keep it Kuche! Here. Now he's staring at me. Here. We're gonna have him look at the ball now. Hopper. Here. Back to me. And now he's gonna switch. He just switched his eyes. Now we're gonna have him switch his voice. A ball. Keep it up. Couché. See how he's staring at that ball? He doesn't even care I exist. His focus is so amazing. Ah, see. He can still hear my commands though, even though he's not looking at me. Here. He can turn around to face me. Help her. Look at the ball. And now we have him heal with me so that he can stay locked on the ball but he can do these fun circles while he stares at the ball. And that means if I need to carry groceries or my favorite ball, I can keep him with me, but he can stay focused on what he needs to. Kuche! That is until I ask him to go into a position like that, or if I want him to run backwards. Kuche! Kuche! Puck! And he has to stop at the last second. Puck, purchase. Oh. And this is him being friendly. This is how he plays. He loves to wrestle. You wrestle your friends. This is all him being fun and being a wrestling boy. But he lets go as soon as I ask him to. Ah, crochet. 
Now I want to talk about something that's very important, and that is dog body language. Dogs cannot speak. If I asked my friend, hey, do you want a hug? My friend can say yes, or my friend can say no. But sometimes they may even use body language. Sometimes if I open my arms and ask my friend for a hug, they may put their hand out and say, I don't want a hug right now. And that's okay because they get to decide if they're hugged. Our dogs could not give us the same vocal as they, they can't say the same thing because they don't know words. Come here. And so we have to look for things, look for signs that our dogs give us because not every dog wants to be pet. And not even dogs who want to be pet don't want to be pet all the time. Ass. I'm gonna put my hand over the top of him. He's not gonna like it. Now watch how he licks his lips. Did you see that little, close his mouth, he licked his lips, he yeah. kind of went like this. Obviously he's not scared of me, but he's saying, hey, don't do that, I don't like that. I have a really, really good relationship with my dog, so I can do that, and he's gonna be fine with it, but that doesn't mean he likes it. And so we need to make sure that we respect our animals, because they're our friends, and just like if we don't respect and be nice to our friends, they're not gonna be our friends for long. And so if I want to have a great relationship with my dog, I need to look for things. So my, my dog is licking his lips, that usually means they're uncomfortable. If their eyes are wide open, kind of like if a, a, you know, an adult screaming at you and you're like, uh, the dogs will give you the same look sometimes or they're just kind of like, um, excuse you, why are you doing this to me? And we can see that and recognize that the dog is not giving us consent to pet them and it's super important. Is this our new bar <laughs> So he's only here just for today so that you guys could, could meet him and see him do some tricks and learn about dogs. But he, he, he probably won't be back. How does he know what you're doing? Everything we do starts off very, very, very basic. And so I have the kibble or his ball. And if I want him to say, come into a position where he is in a heel to here, his head, wherever his head goes, his body will follow along. And you see how his head goes with the ball. And so if I want him into that heel position, he just follows. If I want him to come over to the other side, he follows. Other side, he follows. Fuck, fuck this. Ah. And then he plays. Okay, and this is our very last question. Put your hands down, please. Okay. Sport check. Can he go on your back? Can he go on my back? Yeah, can he like... <laughs> 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 Still target focus. Thank you. We'll give you some goodbye barks. Good luck. Awesome. I wanted to make sure all the kids got a chance to meet Ulrich and to show that he truly is kid safe. Even surrounded by these young kids, the only worry I'd ever have is that he would get excited and jump up. So I'm holding his collar for safety. He's poop up. Zoom. Yes. Are you a YouTuber? I am, yes. Really? That's so cool. The older kids were so patient, I wanted to make sure they got their chance to meet Ulrich. But notice how he is giving signals that he is tired, like looking away. He is ready to go home. We had a little more fun. Whoa. And it was time to head home. Whoa. A good working dog, even when tired, has to be able to continue to do their job, heal, and not get overly stressed. It's because he is just some kind of poop pup that he knows how to contact heel, and he's the poop pup. I released him from healing when we got to the parking lot, and it was time to run off into the sunset 
back to the modern Malinois ranch. Ulrich did fantastic. <gasps> He's naked boy. So now it is time to do some poop up snuggles. I know, no one else in the house is amused. Yeah, I know, cause you're poopy. Cause she's poopy. Thank you. Thanks to my poopy. Oh, I know. We just got back home and Ulrich says he's not tired. He just wants to play. How dare you? I said, how dare you? Us. Oh, we still have control. You can run. Oh crap, not my mic, not my mic. Hey, I was... Oh, that was, uh... That was close. Switch to give me the ASMR and not bite my mic. How dare you? You can see he's very intimidated by me. All right, sir. Here, lay down on the bed. You, you know, you put a, you put a blanket down for him to lay on, and he's gonna try to get on the one spot that doesn't have blanket because Auric just wants to see the world burn and break every rule. Is to break. We're gonna break all the rules. Us. Boopy. Yeah, oh, you have? Yeah. Oh, that's sick. I'm so happy.